Welcome to Golden Routes, a channel that covers all sorts of routes from herbs and ores to leveling and questing. However, it isn't limited to just routes. You might also find some forced respawns or other methods of making gold here as well. So thanks for watching, and happy gold making. Hello gold farmers, welcome to another Golden Out trying video. Today we'll be taking a look at a, another one of my pretty decent herbalism routes in BFA. Again, this is in Dressfar. Uh, as many of you may have noticed, I actually like herbalism in Dressfar because I've got three or four different routes. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention about this route is it is pretty short and it is really good for anchor weed. As you can see, I just picked two anchor weed up back to back. On average, I can usually find anywhere from 100 to 120 anchor weed here per hour. Uh, with people recently not really farming the older herbs as much. I'm not sure what that's going to do to the anchor weed nodes. So you might be able to find more, you might be able to find less. And right now I just found another one, so uh, it seems to be doing pretty well for anchor weed still. Um, another really important thing to mention about this route is this is a, another hot spot for Winter's Kiss. Uh, for those who didn't see my super herb route, uh, this location right here usually has around like 10, 20, if not more, herbs up at a time. And it's such a small area that it's literally just herb after herb. And uh, this place is similar to that. It's not quite as dense, but it's pretty similar to that in the sense of there being a bunch of herbs up in a small location. Uh, so if you have a flying mount or if you have flying unlocked then I'd recommend that you just add this onto that route. Uh, that way you're picking up quite a bit more herbs and it should add another two possibly three minutes onto that route. I've heard some people running the super route it takes them a little over five minutes to complete a full lap. So adding on another minute or two possibly three um, it's not that bad considering the amount of herbs that you'll be adding onto it, along with the amount of anchor weed that you'll be adding onto it as well. So, on average, I am picking up around, or I was picking up around anywhere from 150 to 170 herbs per lap. This lap takes me roughly 6 minutes to complete running. So it's a pretty good route. Uh, it's just one of the more well-known ones, so there are quite a few people that run it generally. Uh, right now my server's pretty dead. It's usually pretty dead in the morning. So I'm not seeing much of any competition, if any at all. Again though, this is more of a anchor weed farm than it is anything else, so... The whole design of this farm was to focus on the anchor weed spawns rather than the winner's kiss. Uh, a couple different reasons why I had chosen this path instead of coming up around this little area over here is just because I wanted a short route for it. I wanted a route that not many people generally hit, but still know about, and this was one of those routes. Uh, people know about it, but they don't typically always hit it. They always want to just run around this little section over here and pick up all of the herbs around that area, leaving this area pretty well open and dry for competition. Uh, I have seen a couple of times where people are regularly farming this section right here, but not very often. I do believe that'll be all, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I hope you enjoyed the guide and got the advice that you were after. If you'd like to download my routes, then you can easily go to the media file uh, link in the description below. If you don't want to download the add-on routes to use that OUA file that I am providing, then you can also easily go over to my website, which is goldenroots.com. 
and the routes will then be posted on that website. If you'd like more great content, then I highly suggest that you visit the goldqueen.com as they are really great bloggers. They are going to be getting ready for classic and there's a lot of that fun stuff. If you would like to know a little bit more about why I have these short pauses, uh, I do have several videos in the description below as well that describe uh, part of why I am like this and I go over some pretty hot topic uh, guides as well. So there is that to look forward to. I have a Facebook page if you'd like to go over and like that. I also have a Discord server if you'd really like to enjoy that. And I also have a Twitter account. So hope to see you guys there. And please feel free to leave comments, likes, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button as well.